The question nobody wants to answer. How many fish can I fit in a blank? I, if you're a fish pro, skip ahead a minute or so and check out this amazing cichlid tank at my local zoo. It's an awesome Malawi cichlid tank. Actually not Malawi, it's Rift Lake cichlids. And if you're a newbie asking my channel the question of how many fish can you fit in a tank, I'm gonna not answer your question, but kind of answer your question in this video. So the start is with this tank. This is a 30 gallon tank and I have about 80 fish in it. That's eight zero. So if somebody said, how many fish can I fit in a 30 gallon, would I say 80 fish? No, I wouldn't answer your question because the question is flawed. And I'll give you another example. This is my local zoo. And this is a tank with about 600 uh, Rift Lake cichlids in it. And if I said, oh yeah, you could fit 600 fish in your tank, obviously that's a ridiculous answer. And it, it depends on so many different things. If you have a pen and paper, write this down. How many fish you can fit in a tank depends on one, the number of fish in the tank, two, the size of fish in the tank. I can fit 80 in my 30 gallon because they're teeny tiny little guys. Three, the size and type of filtration you're using. Four, the frequency of water changes because if you have adequate filtration to an overstock tank, you're going to build nitrates like crazy. So you need to do frequent water changes to get rid of the nitrates. Five, your feeding habits. Lots of people, especially new fish keepers that ask that question, overfeed their tanks and build up crazy amount of nitrogenous wastes. And six, your water chemistry. If you have really acidic water, you have a pH of like six, well, a lot of your ammonia gets converted to ammonium and that is a lot less toxic so you can get away with a little bit of uh, overstocking your filtration differences so while you're checking out the sweet tank at my local zoo i want you guys to remember if you're asking that question you're probably doing the wrong thing you need to start off really slow do really small stocking levels and then as you learn about the hobby, as you figure out that you can actually keep fish alive, you're responsible, you're doing the maintenance and care that the fish required, you will then have the knowledge to say, maybe I can add a couple more. And so I just wanted to say, I will never answer that question because there's about 80 variables that you need to figure out for your stocking levels and no YouTuber can just answer that question. It's a long, complicated process, and ultimately, your test kit and the chemistry of your water will dictate what your stocking levels look like. So, I'm sorry I can't directly answer your question, but I am answering your question by saying it all depends on about 80 different things. So the Calgary Zoo here can fit 600 fully grown cichlids in their tanks because they have amazing filtration. So there's no straight answer to that question. Thanks so much for watching and have yourselves a great day.